Hi guys, as you can see, this is a Kali Linux fully operating smoothly on my on my Android device. Yeah, as you can see, this is a phone. I can I'm even screen recording, but uh, I'm using Kali Linux right without any issue. Uh, here I can do password cracking. I can do Wi-Fi. I can do Wi-Fi attack. I can do reverse engineering simply using my Android device. Yeah, in this full video, I'm going to show you a step by step guide. On how you can install this on your Android device and you start your cyber security journey uh, please be warned this video is strictly for education purposes and anything illegal that you do does not concern me the video now on your phone uh, go to any browser that you use me I use Chrome in Chrome just from where you search from just put in Tamax we are going to download Tamax First, yeah, we are going to download about. Uh, by the way, make sure you don't download this from Play Store because it has issues. Download this from GitHub. When you tap on it, it will bring you to this page, of course. Uh, when it brings you to this page, scroll down until you see releases. Yes, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see releases this one yeah tap on latest uh, when you tap on latest as you can see these are the apk's download this first one tap on it download uh, f uh, by the way i'm not going to show you how to download it because i already downloaded it just you tap on download it and then install yeah me i already have tamax so now let's go to the setup uh, actually i've already installed tamax now from my phone it is here now as you can see, uh, for the first time when you open it up, it is just like this. This is how it shows. Now we are going to input about 7 commands that are going to help you install this Tamax and Kali Linux on your phone without any issue. Uh, make sure to check the description box. All these instructions are going to be there. You just copy and paste and just follow instruction. Actually it is very easy to do Yeah, when you follow step by step. Uh, the first step is we are going to put apt update apt update this is just to update the repositories then you tap on enter as you can see it is updating updating is done after updating now we upgrade the repositories just by a command apt apt update tap that is updating uh, as you can see here it shows you that from here it shows you that all packages are up to date now what we do uh, up to, yeah that is up to update now what you do is imp we upgrade the repositories up to by an uh, by a command called up upgrade upgrade yeah yeah all these yeah it shows that they are all they are all updated now we are going to what we are going to do next is to install wget and a command for installing wget is apt apt install make sure you write these commands as they are or copy them from the description box or join my telegram channel all these are going to be there wget it is apt up up to install wget tap on it yeah actually my wgets are already installed already installed uh, by the way if you are trying to install that wgets and uh, the and a prompt comes up yeah of course a, a prompt will come up and it will ask you to either use the letter y or yes uh, that letter y is for yes and the no is for no so just put type the word just type the letter y and then do what and then press enter uh, now what we are going to do uh, after installing after installing the wget we are going to install now the what we call the Kali Linux file. We are going to install it. Uh, the command is uh, the command is wget. Sorry, the command is wget. Uh, 
this wget space then this sign then capital O capital O then install install then input this install uh, net hunter net hunter net hunter and this sign Thermax. make sure the spellings are right Tamax then space HTTPS PS then this full columns uh, then these are forward slashes and then it is off offs offs dot EC EC forward slash uh -huh. then two two capital two capital M C E yeah C E capital M C E then this sign no C E it is capital Z it is capital Z capital W then R then you press enter uh, yeah when you press enter actually this process on your phone it will take a little bit long yeah it will take some time but make sure you have a, a run a fast internet and then the next um, the next command is going to be chmod chmod plus x chmod plus x install install then design net hunter net hunter then design tamax tamax then you hit enter uh -huh. then after that we are going to input the last command which is this make sure you copy these commands as they are uh, install install Design net hunter net hunter net hunter term max term max then enter now <coughs> yeah as you can see we have now reached this stage now at this stage we are going to choose as you can see uh net hunter um we are going to install this net hunter a a r m64 full so from here just input one and then press enter here for your case it might ask you to of course to here the same existing roof directory form delete and create new one here we are going to input no no as you can see it is checking existing download no yes everything just put no <coughs> yeah as you can see our Kali Linux has already been installed but we are not yet done yeah we are not yet done now here we are going to install an app from Play Store yes we are going to install an app from the Play Store then we come back your Play Store look for an app called VN server VN VN view VNC viewer this one you come back to the to the Tamax terminal now from here we are going to set a password for our Kali Linux now you as you can see here the what here uh, the the commands now what we are going to do is we are going to to set a password it's net <coughs> net hunter 
net hunter cakes pass wd enter now here it asks you to input a password for security just put a password that you can remember for security purpose let me input that then you verify it now here here they're asking you would you like to enter a view only password put no put letter n then enter yeah nh nh cakes then this sign here then that sign then tap enter yeah as you can see uh as you can see, these are the ports. The VM server has been activated. Now, uh, back to our end server. This is where now we need the other app that we installed the ends, NV, the, the, the VMC server. Now we open it. Tap next, next, next. Get started. Now from this uh, this from this app of ours we are going to tap on add. Now from this address, from here the address the address we are going to put uh, we are going to put we are going to put localhost 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 and um, then. Uh, then we are going to put the colon sign we are going to put the sign and then the other port number we are going to input the port number if you remember from here this port number is, is what we are going to use it's uh the port number is five of course you will check yours it might be different so you put exactly this port number it is five nine zero one yeah we input five nine it's uh five nine zero one then the name you can put Kali Linux Kali Kali Linux then create after creating you simply come here as you can see it has been here you tap on connect from here you tap on ok now here you remember the password that we set from here, this point wait uh, you remember there was some password that we set here yeah there was some password that we set here the the, the net hunter cakes password that we set the, the other which was six characters now what we have to do is we have to enter it here it was mine was a six character letter six character and then you can tap on remember password so that each time you tap on it you don't have to enter password then then you install yeah as you can see our Kali Linux never don't worry about that as you can see skip tutorial as you can see our Kali Linux has already been installed uh, we put the desktop mode See our Kali Linux. It is fully working without any issue. Yeah. As you can see, all the applications are already here. All the applications are here. Yeah, as you can see them. 